All right. So before we talk about impeachment there, um, I want to talk about Biden. So Donald Trump's current impeachment situation really involves Biden in a way that is not great for Biden. This whole Ukraine thing and the sun. I mean, is this OK? So politicians, they have their children on the board of directors of major companies even though they are woefully unqualified. They get money, and you think, okay, well, I know what it's like to get a hookup. You might call it nepotism, but I know how it's like to get a hookup and somebody helping you out, and you know a guy, and you have a family member, and uh, they get you in a position. And I, I, I don't see anything so, sort of fundamentally wrong with having your kids... Uh, um, get money and be successful and great jobs that they don't deserve. I mean, I don't really see that as a problem. Uh, to me, I think it's normal, right? Is it normal? I think it's normal. I think it's normal for these politicians to have their kids in positions where those kids are getting money. I think it's normal. I think it's part of the perks of the job. When I worked at McDonald's, I'd eat, I'd eat, I'd eat McDonald's all the time. I had free food. It wasn't supposed to be free, but I had free food all the time. It's one of the perks of the job. It was against the rules. It was against uh, policy, but, you know, perks of the job. You got perks to your job. You got perks to your life. You got things that, you know, kind of color outside the lines and not, not, they're not exactly in the rules, kind of frowned upon. But so to me, it kind of seems normal that Biden's son would be on a board and getting $50,000 a month or whatever. And corruption is inevitable. Like that's the what that's what I believe. Corruption, especially in politics, is inevitable. You know, whatever when in every domain where human beings compete, they cheat. There is cheating. Every domain, every sphere that human beings compete, there is manipulation, corruption, and cheating. So the fact that Biden's son but he is being embroiled in this, and um, and uh, I don't think it's going to go away, especially if, the, if they're going to be impeaching Donald Trump on this thing or going through that process. Biden is going to get hurt. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see his poll numbers as this news uh, really takes hold because his electability thing is really going out the window. I thought Joe Biden, Joe Quo was milk toast, you know. Joe returned to normalcy, status quo, Joe quo. I thought he was milquetoast. I thought he was just like Jeb. I thought he was like, you know, there's nothing special about this guy, right? It's just ordinary. Keep the, keep the boat straight. But he, he might be dirty. Not really dirty. Not super corrupt, but in a way that we don't really like. Opportunistic, you know? But corruption is inevitable. It's part of the, part of the process. So I don't expect anybody to be a saint and... In terms of wrong things to do, I don't know. It doesn't seem that dramatic to me that Joe Biden's son's gotten, gotten good, you know, or got some cash. And when an offense is shared, then there's not going to be any consequences, right? Do you think Biden's son is the only one getting uh, getting perks here? All, all of their kids are getting perks. So if you're at the top of the hill, your kids are getting perks, man. And so when you have an offense that's shared by everyone, right? When everybody's jaywalking, nobody gets stopped for jaywalking. If everybody's downloading uh, illegal files, nobody get, really gets uh, uh, picked up for that. It's because everybody's doing it. And so all these politicians, they're doing these things or do, doing something like it. So you're, like, you're not going to throw stones living in glass houses. So I don't think there's going to be any consequence, any political, any um, legal consequences for uh, Joe Biden when it comes to this um, scandal. Political consequences, on the other hand, I don't know. Will, will he end up Will he end up suffering in the polls? I think so. And the more we talk about Donald Trump and being impeached, the more that conversation goes, the more we're going to hear Joe Biden and the wrong things that he did. So I've got to dive into the story more. It sounds like what Trump, what they believe that Trump did, withholding funds to, withholding foreign aid to Ukraine in order to um, get something in return, it, it might be that Joe Biden did something very similar. So... I don't know how that works. Normally, you don't get pinched when other people are doing the same thing as you, but they really hate Donald Trump. So even if Donald Trump does something that other people do, I think he'll still get pinched for that. And I think that's what we're seeing here. So will Joe Biden survive this whole Trump-Ukraine thing? Um, legally, yeah, I'm pretty sure he will survive. But politically, 
I don't think so. There's already a lot of hate. There's a lot of conspiracy theories, and I, I don't dive into that. I'm not really interested in that right now, not on this topic. We'll see how big it gets, but uh, just the story alone um, is not good. You see, Joe, Joe Biden is talking on camera. He's getting angry now. He's being upset, uh, and I, I don't know if that's a strategy. I don't know if that's a tactic, but seems to be on the defensive, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, poor Joe Biden. Joe Quo.